He was war-torn and weather-beaten, his face wrinkled and tough, his eyes small and twinkling, and his hair looks as if he had poked it into a bag of Kilkenny cats and had not had time to comb it since. Peter Cardwright was a Methodist circuit rider known for his appearance and his direct manner, recounts the Reverend Alfred Day, who heads the church's archives and history agency. Cardwright even told future U.S. President General Andrew Jackson that he would be damned to hell if he did not repent. The frontier was a rough place for early circuit riders, says Day, but Cardwright had a reputation for holding his own. He spent nearly 50 years taking the gospel to places where only crows and Methodist preachers would venture. I had been from my father's house about three years, was 500 miles from home, my horse had gone blind, my saddle worn out, my bridle reins had been eaten up and replaced at least a dozen times, my clothes had been patched till it was difficult to detect the original any longer. I had just 75 cents in my pocket. By the time I reached the Ohio River opposite Maysville, the money was gone. My parents received me joyfully. I tarried with them several weeks. My father gave me a fresh horse, a bridle, a saddle, some new clothes, and $40 cash. Thus equipped, I was ready for another three-year absence. There was such a passion to communicate that message that somebody would endure their clothes basically falling off their back just to be able to share that message. Cardwright was known as a talented preacher, orator, and influential leader. He challenged and beat Abraham Lincoln for a seat on the Illinois legislature, then lost to the future president a decade later in an 1846 bid for Congress. Credited with 8,000 baptisms and 10,000 new church members, at retirement, Cartwright said these words. That with all the losses and crosses, labors and sufferings peculiar to the life of a Methodist traveling preacher, I would take the same track over and over and over again with the same religion to bear me up rather than be president of the United States. I ask your prayers that you will remember an old man who has spent his long life in the service of the church, and I would do it again. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.